absolute coordinates. We have three different coordinate entry methods. The first method is called absolute coordinates. We are going to locate points based on its measurement from the origin or its absolute values from the origin. So if we want to let's say draw a line and it's a specified first point. Well if we want to start from the origin 0 comma 0 we type in 0 and then we hit comma and then we hit 0 and then we hit enter and now you can see that my line is is coming from the origin. I, I rolled the scroll wheel there so you could see it. So I got one end of my line at 0 comma 0. Now I want to go to an absolute coordinate of 2 comma 2. So in other words I want to go over two city blocks and up two city blocks. So I'm going to type in 2 comma 2 and then I'll hit enter and then when I am done with the command I hit enter. Now you go, oh it's a little tiny line. Ah, oh, remember it's just relative so I'm going to roll my mouse wheel and I'm going to hold the pan down and I'm going to roll it in here and I'm going to say this went over two units and went up two units. And you're saying, oh Professor Bordeaux, it doesn't look like that because each one of these little squares that counts to four. Aha, it's a trick. Autodesk, the makers of AutoCAD, have set up these grids to be on a half inch grid or a half point five grid. So it's half, it's one, it's one and a half, it's two. It's up half to one, one and a half, two. So it's a little deceiving. We'll learn later how to go about setting those so that it's on the even uh, integers which might make life a little easier but right now this line is drawn from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 at the other end of this line. 